Hello everyone. Today's topic is on quantum plasmonics. It's going to be a review of the wide range of research activities being pursued in quantum plasmonics, which is a new field that combines modern plasmonics with quantum optics. One of the main messages to take from this presentation is a description of surface plasmon polaritons and their quantization and presenting as one of the major strengths of plasmonic systems the ability to provide highly confined electromagnetic fields. Here we see the quantization of the near field of localized surface plasmons, LSP, at nanoparticles, where A is a single localized surface plasmon excitation, B and C are reservoir modes which enable the loss to be included in the quantization. Loss being one of the greatest difficulties in this line of research because of the growing excitement about the prospects for exploring quantum properties of surface plasmons in building plasmonic devices that operate at the quantum level. Surface plasmon polaritons, SPPS, offer new opportunities for the quantum control of light, enabling the realization of devices such as efficient single photon sources and transistors. The potential application of this line of research to both experiment and theory are very promising. So we'll begin with the quantization process. Surface plasmons, which are ele electromagnetic excitations coupled to electron charge density waves on metal, dielectric interfaces or localized on metallic nanostructures which enable the confinement of light to scales far below that of conventional optics. So bone and pine in the 50s laid the foundation for quantizing plasma waves and metals which resulted in the quantized form of collective matter oscillations, the plasmons, which were found to be bosons behaving both as a particle and a wave. Hoffield then introduces the polariton, a joint state of light and matter, providing a quantum model for the polarization field describing the response of matter to light. Soon after, the concept of surface plasma wave was put into practice and, and using Hoffield's approach were first quantized as SPPs. So here, uh, here we see the, this, this, this quantization illustrated where, with the coupling of a photon and a surface plasmon, resulting in a plasma-shifted photon and an SPP as the joint state of light and matter. Quantum properties of SPPs. In quantum mechanics, a single excitation exhibits both wave-like and particle-like behavior. This duality was found, actually, in, all, in SPPs as well, by Kolsloff, Kolsoff and others. Here we see the, uh, the, dual, the duality in a, in a ni nitrogen vacancy center in a nanowire, the NV. There's also survival of entanglement and quantum tunneling, which we'll see later on. So many of the quantum properties of SPPs are still largely unknown. The problem of high loss in plasmonics must be resolved, especially in the quantum regime, to fulfill at its highest potential. So here we have the road ahead in this line of research. Um, but we also had some breakthroughs. For example, to show the evidence of the bosonic nature of surface plasmon polaritons, SPPS, we, uh, we, there was used the interfering of two SPPS in continuous and discrete waveguides. Another challenge is the quantization process of SPPS is actually based on a macroscopic approach, and so it is still unknown at what scale it actually breaks down. So, another breakthrough is when we start with bone and pines, laying the foundations, but in quantum tunneling plasmonics, we have Mao and 
Savage, with the latter experimentally revealing the quantum regime of tunneling plasmonics in sub-nanometer plasmonic cavities formed by two nanostructures.